In this video, I will share my experience of using ChatGPT for the past week as a junior software engineer. I will provide some real life work examples of how it has helped me get everyday tasks and work done. I will share my thoughts on if I believe ChatGPT is a valuable tool for developers or if it's a threat that could potentially take our jobs. If you're currently learning to code or you're interested in tech related topics then do hit subscribe as there will be a lot more content on the way. So first off let me quickly run through what ChatGPT is for those of you that might not be aware. ChatGPT is an AI chatbot developed by an institute called OpenAI. OpenAI is an institute focusing on advancing AI technology. As a contextual language model, ChatGPT is able to remember previous statements and respond accordingly. This allows for a more natural and engaging conversation. Now, for a basic example, if I was to ask ChatGPT what is the biggest city in the world, it would give me an answer. I could then respond what is the smallest and it would know I'm referring to cities and it would respond accordingly. Now that is on a very basic level and it can do a lot more advanced stuff that I'm going to get into in this video. So with that out of the way, hopefully you understand what ChatGPT is and I'm going to dive into some real world examples I've had as a developer over the last week. Now, so the first thing that I found actually super useful is asking ChatGPT to write code from text. To give a real world example, for the past week as a junior developer, I've been assigned with the task of building out a new React component. Essentially this component consists of two buttons and two forms. Based on which button a user clicks, a different form will be displayed. So I have a demo project open here and obviously I can't show my work code, but essentially the first thing I needed to do was see how to create two radio buttons. So with that I asked ChatGPT, give me a React component with two radio buttons side by side and it started doing its thing. It made me a React radio button component and it used use stay hook and handle change event to handle which button is clicked. It also gave me a nice description of what I had done and a little note to let me know that the radio buttons to work, they must have the same name attribute, which was nice. It not only gave me the answer, but provided me with the information to help me understand why things are done that way. So to me, it looked like a really good starting point. And with that, I copied and pasted it in to a new React component. And to my surprise, it actually looked pretty decent and pretty close to what I needed. The only thing that was off was the naming of the radio buttons, which I didn't specify. GPT is contextual, so I can add a follow-up question to add it to add a feature or tell me why I'd done something. So with that, I asked ChatGPT to rename these radio buttons. And within a short period of time, it came back to me with a new component with the names changed. So this had been super useful in helping me get ideas and a starting point for this new feature. Another useful thing I've gotten from ChatGPT over the past week is finding ways to optimize and improve my current code. For example, say I have a function and I want to know if it's optimized for the quickest speed, I can copy that function into ChatGPT and simply ask optimize this function. ChatGPT will then go through my function, look at all the operations in it and find better, quicker ways to do things. And if it doesn't explain why or something's not clear, I can simply ask a follow up question asking why did you do this or why did you do that? Overall, I have found this a really useful way in finding out if there's quicker, more optimal ways to do things. Another useful thing I've found it can do is improve the readability of code. I can pass in a block of code or a function, I can ask it to add comments, write a function header or even give me a paragraph explaining what the function does. As a developer, the readability of your code is very important in ensuring other people understand what it does. And even sometimes when you read a block of code and you can't quite understand it, ChatGPT can be very useful in copying code, pasting it in and asking it what does it do. I have found that ChatGTP can make my code more organized and give me suggestions for better variable names. To me, sometimes it just feels like I have a senior software engineer sitting beside me that I can just ask questions about my code. And sometimes it even feels like a bit of a mentor. I feel like at the moment it is currently making me become a better programmer and give me a better understanding of some questions I may have. But then that does lead to the question. What if it gets to the stage where I'm no longer needed to be there to even prompt it to ask the questions and it can just write whole systems itself? Is it going to get to that stage and will it be a threat for software engineers as they will no longer be needed to write code? I feel like it will get really good at taking input and providing complex output responses. But I do feel like the bottom line is there will always be a need for an engineer there. Coding is only a part of the job. Engineers will also need to be there to deal with unexpected complex responses, bugs, the integration of these systems and higher level decision like architectural changes and the choices of the stack. However, I do believe there will be a huge change in the way we do things, including programming. I feel like that small tasks like writing functions, classes, 
doing code reviews, optimizing code will all be done away with and will be done in a new way. I feel like there will be a huge shift and this will be the new way forward. I also think the software will be a lot more accessible and we'll start seeing it in places that we've never seen it before. So with all that out of the way, if you're currently learning the code, I would not let it hold you back. There's always going to be a demand for software engineers and who even knows the demand now could be even higher. However, I would strongly encourage people to look into fields like AI and machine learning as there will be a huge demand for these in the future. I would also love to get other people's opinions in the comments. Let me know what you think is going to happen and if there's any ways you've used this to help you work, whether it be writing code or any other field of work, drop it down below as I'll be interested to hear. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already.